gamers, and welcome back. I'm Rob, of course, or Warshack, if you want to call me by my in-game name. And we're going to be doing another Warshack Reviews, Warshack Reviews. Uh, you guys seem to really enjoy the first episode, um, so I'm going to go ahead and record some more for you guys. And if you continue to like them, we'll continue to go on for as many episodes as we have in the bank tank. Uh, but with that, let's get started. We want to cover the important cards. Uh, I believe the first card we're going to be covering is a Warrior card. It, uh, they didn't really see a ton of play, but it had the potential to see a ton of play. So let's take a, take a look. Minion deal one damage to it. So as we know, Warrior has always been a class uh, that benefits pretty pretty decently off dealing damage to their own minions along with the entirety of the board. Um, you got okay. you know, Alkali to Pain, we have a lot of Enrage minions, we've got cards like Battle Rage that draws based yeah. on how many minions are our hero has been damaged um yeah. so there's definitely going to be a few uses to this the first thing that brings to mind is grim patron uh there's been a couple uh, memes floating around with this card in the patrons that's a um, wild but format overall kind of i'm sure it'll get so you mentioned a pointless card because it's in wild format and you didn't even say it's in wild format get a grip rob it's the first minute of the show and you're already fucking some shit up Get a grip, bro. Played and see, it's a decent card. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like how cool would it have been? And like, if they would have turned, they can change the name so it matches. But make make a one mana legendary like Mergleton, uh, Sir Finley Mergleton for those of you who aren't around mm -hmm. during that time. Mm -hmm. uh, make it a one mana one three legendary. It mm -hmm. says after a minion is played, deal one damage to it. That sounds. I know that's really good, good but the thing is, I'm sold. It's only really really good against aggro. I'd like to buy which one. right now. I don't think there's going to be any mid-range or control player, and even some aggro players might go play control because of that. And um, you only have one of them in the deck, and it's a legendary, so it's kind of like, you don't need it, you don't always need it, but it's good to have, and it just makes the ability so much cooler because it deals one damage to everything, your opponent has to play around it, it's a great early game, uh, kind of anti-aggro the card, because right now Warrior, um, they do okay, but there's a lot of cases at which it just kind of gets burned out through... Uh, Token Shaman and um, no, Token Druid I'm and Evolved Rob. Shaman and shit like that. Token so, Shaman, Rob, this is a warrior card. This is a warrior card. This is not Token Shaman. All right, I need... All right, all right. Next time we do reviews, if I ever go off on these tangents where it's like not even a tangent associated with a tangent, it's like third degree tangent from like the line of like no return. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let me do this. Don't let me do I will sit there and I will fucking bounce like fucking everywhere else but the target. The target is animated berserker, Rob. You've 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 managed to talk about a lot of other shit. Alright? Get a, get get a hold on your cards. It's a decent card, it'll probably fit in a, Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see where the meta goes. I'm sure it'll get played. Um next card we're gonna go is Dead Man's Oh gosh, I forgot to get rid Ooh, of Ooh, Dead Man's Hand. Though. This is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a good one. <laughs> the Dead Man's Hand, kinda unimpressed by this card. It says shuffle. Unimpressed. Um, a copy of your hand into your deck. Rob, so this is impressed? basically only good in the early game when your hand has a decent amount of cards, but then you're paying two mana. You're getting rid of a card to shuffle all cards in your hand back into your deck. It's an interesting idea, but I don't think it's very good. I'd rather <gasps> just run a lease where I can just Bro. put a pack in my deck and then draw the pack. The pack is one card. Uh, it, it's already a minion. It's a it's five mana, five, five minion. So it's already a minion. So it's not like I'm giving up a card to shuffle my hand. And then most of the time the pack gives you huge amounts of value and who says like the cards in your hand right now are duplicates you want in your deck you know it, it's interesting card you know fits the fatigue warrior kind of idea uh -huh. and the mentality the behind it warrior. but do i think the card is really good not really i think this is pretty bad i think it's a pretty bad card and a pretty <gasps> shitty epic very uh very not excited about all the epics <gasps> that are floating around here that not excited not seem fairly underwhelming underwhelming crap you're underwhelming rob your reviews suck get a grip <laughs> i'm just kidding Nah, so I wasn't anticipating the meta to slow down as much as it did. Um, so I should have said if the meta goes to a very, like, I should have looked at it as like an aggro. Like, Dead Man's Hand is horrible against aggro, but Dead Man's Hand is really, really good uh, in the more controlling matchups where you can, like, shuffle back cards like Execute, Nazoth, Cthun, and stuff like that. Um, so I guess I should have mentioned, like, in different metas, it would be different, um, like, you know. It will have different effects. Our next card is going to be the Shaman we'll Legendary, here. just because it's a Shaman now. So if this guy right here is good, Cryostasis will be good. And this guy's a 6 mana 4-4 four, four. whenever another minion is frozen, add a Rob, copy of it to your hand. So you basically this card freeze a sucks. minion or you can freeze whatever and you get that minion. Um, mm -hmm. You don't get it when it's buffed, you get a copy of the minion, you don't get it, the stat buffs on it, etc. What the fuck are you talking broken. about, Rob? So, what do you mean to talk about the buffed minion? What, what do you mean the buffed minion? 
The card says what it says. It's not confusing. The text isn't confusing. You're you're making it more confusing than it needs to that be. That shaman, a legendary that they had before, Miscaller. Miscaller was a six mana four four, and it said battle. We're not talking about every Caller. minion in your deck plus one plus one. Oh. So it gave you immediate value. Cards in your hand as well, just not cards on the board. Um, it might have done cards on the board. I actually think it. Would. No, I'm I giving you 25 seconds to say this card fucking sucks, Rob. Um, and that card wasn't played. It was played sometimes. I tested it. It was too slow. It was a ton of value, though. It was, I think, mainly because mid-range Shaman was seconds, so bro. powerful that it didn't even need that card. But this is following the same stats line as the Miss Caller. You have seven and a half this seconds. This has bro. conditions to be met to generate value. The other one generated value immediately. You played the card. Value was generated. End of story, period. And if plus one... I need to hear your opinions. I'm either being a Debbie Downer here... And I just Debbie need Downer. to pucker up and smile. rob a Debbie Downer. Or like I'm just not no understanding way. what's happening. The next one's ooh, a really ooh. cool card. Defile, uh, Warlock AOE, deal one damage to all minions. If any die, cast this again. So it's like an ongoing explosive AOE. You basically mm -hmm. want to line up um, Very your exciting. opponent to have like one HP, two HP, three HP, four HP, so it clears yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole board. The thing is. Warlock didn't need more. It doesn't need more AOE. That's not the problem with Warlock. The problem I mean, with Warlock is it, it has doesn't, no healing. But it why not give itself. it more? So they have. All right, it's so like when you're in a candy shop. Actually, sure, you're in a candy shop, and you got all this candy, and you see another piece of candy that you want. Put that shit in the bag. Put that. You're already in a candy shop. So they're like defile. It's just another piece of candy. You're like, oh, piece of candy. Ah, oh, piece of candy. Ah, oh, piece of candy. Oh, another piece of candy. So it's just like. It's, it's a good piece of candy. Let's go over the AoE. They have Corrupting Mist, right? They have Corruption. They've got Hellfire. They've got Shadow Flame. They have Hellfire. All right, Rob, I'm going to hit you real hard. Corruption isn't an AoE spell. That's a single target removal, and it fucking sucks. I'm just going to hit you with that live. I'm going to hit you with that knowledge right there, Rob. Hellfire Potion. They have Twisting Nether. <laughs> they have so much AoE. It's almost every two mana cost. They have a next giant I lied. fucking I lied AoE to you card. In this video. And they have Abyssal Demon. Which is a Hellfire and a minion. So, a hybrid. Like, warlocks being able to clear the board, I understand the whole corruption, destroy minions, but def like corrupting misses, but I'm pretty sure I said corrupting mist and then I said corruption too. For good. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to love playing this card because it adds a lot of skill. Like, you, you can line up your minions. No, I thought to I just said corruption. If stop, I said corrupting you know, mist, where I kill correct. my opponent's minion and my, I buff my minion so it lives, there's just a lot of good plays that you can make with Defile, and I'm sure we'll see a lot of cool shit come from it. And I also really enjoy the picture. It reminds me of, like, the aliens uh, from Alien vs. Predator. Uh, Hell yeah, bro. Watched, make that, that fucking reference. Prometheus. Uh, it starts with a P. Yeah. Uh, Penis. Just kidding. Prometheus. I'm going to get it, like, five minutes later. Prometheus. Um, Prometheus. And it reminds me of the hell yeah, and Rob. And get it in there. And blows out the guy's eyeball. Anyway, uh, uh, it's a super cool card. But again, I was I really want to see some warlock healing here. Uh, even though I'm excited for this warlock healing, so this rare is basically better than every card we went over so far. And it's just a rare. Not an epic. It's not a legendary. It's just a rare. It's a two mana rare, and it fucking is awesome. That's what I'm the saying. The next one is the Reaver or Reveler. I'm not even going <laughs> to yeah, Sanguine no. Reveler. Let's Rebel. move along to some Fuck better you, cards. No, yeah, cards uh, the ooh, one ooh, mana, ooh, one, ooh, one battle cry, destroy friendly. We hit, we hit it, we hit it, we hit it. Here it is. I don't know. Eternal Servitude. Eternal Servitude. Four mana, priest card. Resurrect Discover priest. Discover a Say friendly it. minion that died this game. Say it, pleb. Summon it. Wow. This card's Resurrect good. Priest. Say it. So discover a friendly minion that died this game so basically you want to so basically it does exactly what you said it did twice discover a friendly minion that died this game now say what i want you to say rob put the words in my mouth play this this is a late game card unless you have like a really nice turn four play like let's say you're playing an, against an aggressive base deck. You have this in your hand. You drop <gasps> Priest of the Feast. Priest of the Feast dies because, of no, course, no, no, no. they're going to kill it as Rob soon as Barnes. possible. So you don't get healing. You eternal servitude and you pull out a Priest of the Feast again because you probably Priest don't of the even feast. have Think three bigger, Rob. To think to fucking four, thick. And you basically got two Priests of the Feast. I'm not two sure. Two Priests of the Feast. Rob, think bigger. Think big. Think thick with fucking like eight C's here. Not even an I. Just T H C C C C C C C. Think rage. Think Ysera. Think big dick swingers. What is this priest of the feast? Fuck that guy. Like, Rob. Ugh. If the priest of the feast would actually trigger Stop saying it. Spell or not. So you play the spell, bring back feast, and if priest 
the feast. Stop saying uh, breeze of the feast. I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. Uh, but I think that's pretty good. But most of the time, you're gonna play this late game. You're gonna play it like at ten mana, and you're gonna want to bring back something with eight mana. And then for the remaining six mana, you're gonna like heal and summon a four drop. Or you're gonna do some form of AOE before this card. So like AOE, like Dragonfire Potion, Servitude, and then you bring back you know an eight mana card that died because you can like free from Amber. <laughs> and the, the card you got free from Amber. Why does it have to be eight mana? Cool. Why can't it be a ten mana? A whole bunch of small minions. Did like, you hear what I'm saying? Clerics. I'm saying this card can bring back any minion. And I'm saying we can bring back an eight mana. Rob, you can bring back any mana. Any. Your choice. Fucker. Um, Nether Spite Historian and like Talon Priest. You could get like a bad pick from there. Um, but I think most of the time this will be like maybe. I want to say it's a one of just because having two of them. <sighs> This isn't something you play. On I was turn so four. wrong. This is a late game card. Which it is means not it's a late a game card. card. You turn four early card. on, and right now yeah, priest main thing is just surviving the early game. Once the priest makes it past the early game and heading towards you know the middle of middle like the middle game or towards the end control portion of the match, like priests do fine. Like you mean priest, that's one of the classes you need up. to worry about because of all the you know value generation they have. Their healing mechanic is insane because they just start healing themselves, and you know it, it, you, you just slowly but surely see their life points get higher. Your cards in your hand get lower, and the cards in their hand get higher. <laughs> so, um, definitely, I think, like, a one of in a, any Control Priest. Maybe a two of if Control Priest gets a really, really good early game card that you'd want to bring back. Hell was I it thinking? all depends. All right, so the next card we're going to talk about is the uh, Paladin card, the three mana, two, two, battle cry. Absolutely. Draw not. a divine shield minion from your Ooh. deck. So, all right, 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 all right. Here's another. Here's so another big the next one. one. A spreading plague. This is another one I have kind of a problem with. It's a good card. Don't get what me do you wrong. Mean you have it's a problem five with mana. Uh, summon a one five scarab with. Taunt. I think I complained about the. If your opponent has more and more, or, uh, has more minions, uh, cast this again. So basically, your opponent has three minions. You have none. You spreading plague, and you basically get three locusts, and they all have one five. So you basically get a three fifteen taunt. Well, let me let me the, let me uh, get, let me hit you with the knowledge. You said locust, Rob. This says summon a one five scarab unplayable unplayable rob unplayable you say locust it says scarab this isn't a, this isn't a potato potato thing rob there's a big difference between a scarab and a loco a loco a locust for your opponent to get through so this is, is really really good against aggressive base deck right now druid has a really hard time with dealing with aggressive base decks their turn five oh, yeah. is most likely nourish or something right. like that so this allows them to do something active on the board instead of uh, drawing cards with nourish or mm -hmm. going for mana with nourish um so i think this will probably i don't know maybe it'll be a one of if aggro is there if it's a very mid-range to control like meta maybe we won't see this at all i think five hp is a lot to deal with for the most part and um the fact that you can spread and plague and then buff those minions. You know, you, you spread and plague, your opponent decides it doesn't That's want to attack because the one fives are annoying or they only can kill one of them and there's four of them on the board. All of a sudden you savage roar, you power the wild. You just do anything that buffs the board and all these things. And all of a sudden these uh, scarabs are huge. Uh, my only problem is, is, my only problem with this card is the animation. Like the animation is spiders. Like there's, when it, when Rob finds nothing wrong with a card, what do we do? Complain about the animations. <laughs> <laughs> it's like people who complain about our YouTube content. They can't find a single thing to complain because they have nothing to complain about. They're watching free content, so they complain about my fucking glasses or something. Like, your glasses are dumb. Well, your face is dumb. You know what, Blizzard? Your card is cool, but the animation is dumb. Plays that when the locust <laughs> pops up, spiders come out of it. Why are spiders coming out when it's a locust thing? It should be. Rob, locust. it's not even a locust. Actually, there's a lot of conflicting issues. Okay, so the picture of this is a locust. It says scarab, but it shows spiders. We got three different insects. Apparently, Blizzard doesn't know what the fuck we're doing. So it's a legitimate complaint that there's pic there's locusts are in the pictures. The actual creature is a, uh, is a scarab, but the animation on the battlefield are spiders. <laughs> so I don't think it was really my fault. I think I, I, I think I had legitimate complaints here. I think I had legitimate complaints. And now we're going to go review the absolute best card of the set. Here we go. Like the card that is reigning, now. shining you know supreme. I mean. Here right, it is. Our next card is going to be the Snow Flipper Penguin. A zero mana, one, one beast. I, I, don't, I don't even know why I included this in the slideshow. It's just a card that got revealed. Obviously, it's a wisp with a beast tag on it. Um, but somehow in the uh Rob, card discuss how powerful this card is reveal yesterday day nine and the other director talked about this card for like five minutes 
I had no idea. All right, all right. So they talked about this card for five minutes. I want to see how long you talk about this card for. It is currently 25 minutes in. 20, it's 25, 25, 20. And I talk about this card until I'm still going. It's 27.05. I talked about that card for three and a half minutes. Depressing, Rob. So you complained about other people talking about the card that long, and then you talked about the card that long. Talk How do you wrap this up, Rob? And uh, as always, I'm Rob Warshak, and happy whatever the hell day it is. Thanks for the outro, Rob. Hello, I'll see you guys are... in the next episode. Of course, I'm Rob Warshak, and happy whatever the hell day it is.